Marvin Windows and Doors Standard Mulling Instructions. The following video is intended as a supplement to the written instructions and assumes the viewer has a high level of competency to perform the task presented. Make sure you read the written instructions thoroughly before field mulling any Marvin window or door. Many of our window and door products are available to order factory prepared for field mulling. In the case that your windows are not prepped for mulling, we will cover all the steps necessary to properly assemble and seal mullions to factory specifications. Marvin uses a standard mull configurations such as the one shown here. All mull configurations are diagrammed with the same rules as viewed from the exterior. The alphabetical label denotes the horizontal row starting with the top. The numerical label denotes the vertical column starting from the left. For example, A1 is always the top left unit as viewed from the exterior. When laying out your assembly, refer to the quote diagram and the corresponding label on the unit. When mulling configurations that are multiple high and wide, such as the one shown here, always mull the direct mulls first. Field Prep and Corner Notching the first thing to do to prep your units for field mulling is to remove any nailing fin or drip cap that is attached to the frame where a mull will take place. You will also want to remove the drip cap from individual units where a vertical mull will take place. If you have ordered your assembly factory prep for mulling, verify that the correct corners have been notched. Any corner that intersects a mull must have a notch cut out of the accessory kerf. Notching allows for application of the mull cap and frame trim. Direct Mulls Apply mull tape to the cladding. Make sure it is near the exterior edge of the cladding and extends past the ends and wraps around the corner by about an eighth of an inch, then remove the paper backing. Join the two units together. Ensure the ends are flush with one another. Slide the mull clip over the joined accessory curves and pound the clip into place with a plastic headed hammer until it contacts the other side. Fasten the ends with three one and a quarter inch staples spaced evenly to the interior side of the kerf in the wood. Carefully flip the assembly over so the wood side is up. Clamp the assembly together ensuring that the interior is still flush. Make sure you attach your clamp so that you still have access to fasten the ends of the mull. Fasten the ends of the mulls with three 5 8 by half inch staples about 2 inches apart. Fasten the rest of the mull with 5 to 8 inch spacing in between.